Welcome fish keepers. One of the leading causes of fish death in new aquariums is the buildup of ammonia from fish waste. This is a huge problem for new fish keepers. I have successfully started numerous new aquariums without killing my fish and in this video I will tell you how to do the same. So if you are a beginning fish keeper and want to learn how to keep toxic ammonia from killing your new fish then this video is for you. Make sure you watch this video to the end because I will show an awesome bonus clip of the world's greatest fish parents herding their fry around. Chapter 2 The Ammonia Problem and the Solution The problem is that fish waste and decaying fish food produce deadly ammonia which builds up in your tank and kills your awesome fish. Luckily, nitrifying bacteria that live in aquariums can turn ammonia into much safer nitrates which are essentially plant food. We just have to wait for the nitrifying bacteria to multiply enough in our aquarium to do the job. Let's look at this process in detail. First, fish waste and decaying fish food produce deadly ammonia. Next, we have bacteria in our tank called nitrosomonas bacteria that convert the ammonia into nitrite. Nitrites are toxic, so we need another type of nitrifying bacteria called nitrobacter. These bacteria convert the nitrite into nitrates. Nitrates are mostly fish safe and are consumed by plants and excess nitrates are removed when we do a water change. Finally, to finish off the cycle, some fish eat some of the plants. This process is called the ammonia or nitrogen cycle and it is what we all use in our aquariums to keep the ammonia from the fish waste from killing our fish. All we need to do is to wait for enough nitrifying bacteria to start living in our tank to safely convert the deadly ammonia produced on our tanks into nitrates before we add the fish. But this takes time, up to six weeks. Who wants to wait that long? Fortunately, there are ways to speed up getting these bacteria established and you can add a few, not all, hardy fish once you have your aquarium set up so you don't have to wait six weeks before you can start enjoying having fish in your tank. I will tell you how in the next two chapters. If you are liking this video, please click that subscribe button and like this video below. I will be adding many more videos made for beginning fish keepers soon. And be sure to stay to the end of this video where I have an awesome clip of fish being awesome parents protecting their fry and herding them around. Chapter 3 Establishing Nitrifying Bacteria Faster So how do we speed up the process of getting enough bacteria living in our tank to process the deadly ammonia? There are a few methods. Method 1, buy a bottle of nitrifying bacteria. Method 2, use things from an established tank. Method 3, add a few fish immediately. Now I don't really recommend option 1 because it artificially increases the bacteria population without having enough ammonia producers in the aquarium to support that population, so it might crash on you. In addition, you will need to add ammonia to your tank when you add the bacteria because you don't have any fish to make the ammonia. In the next two chapters, I will talk about the methods that I recommend. Chapter 4 Using things from an established tank. I recommend method 2 using things from an established tank because it can considerably speed up getting the nitrifying bacteria established. The bacteria live on things that are already in a tank. For example, filters. Look at all the spaces in this sponge filter that bacteria have to live on and in. Plants. Plants, especially plants with fine leaves like these, are awesome for seeding your tank with bacteria from a thriving tank. Driftwood. Once again, look at all the places bacteria can live in. So get in touch with your fish keeping buddies and borrow things from their established tanks and put them in your tank. Many local fish stores even sell used sponge filters that you can put in your tank to get these nitrifying bacteria going faster. So in summary, adding things from established tanks can greatly speed up getting your nitrifying bacteria going in your tank. Method 3. Add some fish immediately. I also recommend adding some fish immediately. Pick out two or three of the smaller and hardier fish that you plan to get and buy them and add them immediately to your tank. Guppies, neon tetras, and so on are good fish to use. You can also ask your local fish store for ideas. Also, slightly overfeed your fish, which will provide additional ammonia for your bacteria to start growing on. After about two weeks, add two or three more of your fish, depending on their size. Keep this up, 
adding two or three fish a week, depending on size, until your tank is fully stocked. And there you go, your tank is cycled and you've already started enjoying your fish. Chapter six, suppose you've already messed up. You've already killed some of your fish or you see them swimming at the top of your tank even though you have plenty of aeration. Your fish are probably trying to get out of the ammonia laced water. In this case, get a friend or a local fish store to keep your fish while you get your ammonia problem resolved. Some local fish stores, not chain pet stores like PetSmart or Petco, will keep your fish for you while you fix your ammonia problem. Some friends will do that also. Change about 50% of your water, wait about a week, and add your toughest, less expensive, smaller fish into the tank. Then, in a few more weeks, add a few more fish, and so on, until you've added all of your fish back into your tank and you are happily enjoying your aquarium. Chapter seven, bonus clip and wrap up. Let's wrap up with a short, incredible clip of awesome fish parenting. Electric blue cars, these are the world's most dedicated parents. Here's a close up of the eggs. They are tiny, about the size of a small pinhead. Here come the parents. Here the mother is fanning the eggs. This hinders fungus growth and helps the eggs have oxygen. Here comes the father, Big Daddy. Notice how he is grabbing the edge of one of the leaves with the eggs and is trying to pull it away from me so I don't harm the eggs. Day two, wigglers. Here we see the newborn fry. They are smaller than a pinhead and attached to the gravel and just wiggle their tails. The fry are living off of their yolk sacs for now. Wow, look at all the fry. The parents are very devoted, not letting other fish get near the fry. And they take turns watching the fry so one parent doesn't get too exhausted. Also, notice how the sand has several depressions in it. These are nests for the fry to live in. The parents make these nests and then move the fry from nest to nest about once a day. Look at how big the fry are now and how much more they swim about, but always under the watchful eye of the parents. I've even noticed the parents crunching up the fish pellets that I feed them and spitting the pieces back out at the fry to help them learn to eat the pellets. In this video, I have elaborated on the problem of ammonia in your fish tank, and then I've talked about the solution of using nitrifying bacteria to turn this ammonia into much safer plant food. I have also suggested using things from established aquariums and adding a few fish immediately to reduce the time it takes to grow enough nitrifying bacteria to safely handle the ammonia in your fish tank. If you find videos like these helpful or you just enjoy watching them, please like this video below and subscribe to my channel. I will be adding more beginner fish keeping videos in the near future. If you have suggestions for future topics or ways to better serve you, please leave a comment below. Please help me make more videos for you by supporting me at buymeacoffee.com. If you are finding my videos helpful or entertaining, I have a playlist of all my videos here. I have a playlist of my beginner fish keeping videos here. And I have a playlist of my videos on catfish, Crystal Nose Catfish and Corydora's Catfish here. And you can subscribe by clicking here. Thank you for watching.